Hello and welcome to this Z1 Analyzer tutorial. Uh, today we're going to talk about one of the features in the latest version 1.4 of the Analyzer and that is the track walk feature. So right now I have a lap of spa loaded up. Uh, here's the track map and here are some of the traces. And if I click on this green arrow down here I get to the lap overview. Uh, right now I just have uh, one lap loaded so it just gives you basic information about this one particular lap. But if I click over here on the right, uh, what I'm interested in right now is this track walk. So for any track that I have to find the track edges, you can do a track walk. Um, and so right now we see the track with each of the turns highlighted. And uh, a right hand turn is in green and a left hand turn is in blue. If I click on this black gear icon up here, I get more options, one of which is this 3D map, which uh, I find is actually better for the track walk because it gives you the idea of elevation, which the flat track map does not do. Now I can move the map by simply clicking and dragging with the mouse, and if I use the mouse wheel, I can zoom in on the map. Uh, if I don't have a mouse wheel, actually down here at the bottom, there are plus and minus magnifying glasses. So the idea of the track walk is so that you can click on any turn and get detailed information about that turn. So if I click on this turn here, turn number seven, it tells me about turn seven. Uh, it gives you the elevation. So as you can see here, it's quite steeply downhill, uh, minus 21.5 meters. And it gives you the full angle of the turn. So almost a complete 180 degree change. And then it breaks the turn up into four sections. Uh, sort of the approach to the turn, the uh, approach to the apex, after you pass the apex, and then the last part exiting the turn. And within each of those, you get the elevation change and the camber change of the turn. Uh, so as you can see, it starts off going downhill and actually gets more steeply downhill as you continue uh, towards the end. And you have quite a lot of camber in this turn to help you out, you know, 2.9 uh, to 2.8. Uh, getting up to almost three degrees, actually just over three degrees in some places. Uh, and then interestingly enough, at the end of the turn, you actually have one and a half degrees of negative camber, which means the road is sloping away from, uh, the, from the turn, in this case a right-hand turn, so it's sloping away to the left. So now down here, this gives you a description uh, in English of what's going on. So uh, if you don't want to look at all the elevation changes and camber changes up here, you can just read what's down below, and uh, you'll get a good idea of what's going on on this turn. Now if I look at another turn, uh, for example, turn 14, right here, this is a good example uh, because it tells you uh, information about how to exit the turn. So in this case, you have a really long straight coming up afterwards. So the most important part about this turn is getting a good exit. If you don't get a good exit, you're going to lose time all the way down that straight. Uh, if we look at a turn like turn 12 right here, obviously it's not a very long straight afterwards, it's very short, and it follows almost immediately into the following right-hander. So uh, for this turn, it's more important to carry speed through the turn uh, rather than nailing that exit and compromising the actual entry to the turn. So this track map is available, as I said, for uh, every track that you've defined the track edges for. And it's a really good way to go around that track turn by turn to see uh, how the turn is either going to help you or hurt you as you go through it. Uh, do you get elevation assisting you uh, to make that breaking point later? Or do you get camera changes which are going to try to pull you off the track or help you around the turn? So hopefully this has been a useful tutorial. Uh, please subscribe to our YouTube channel for more information about the Z1 dashboard and Z1 analyzer.